Yeah, right here is a good place to do it. So this is the second song we've been transcribing, and stanza six goes like this. Computers on our center stage. Oh. Da, 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 da. And this is showing several issues. Number one, we can't encode all of the vocalist characterization going on here without a lot of pain. Computers on us. Da, da, da. Da, 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 da. So we just put the word swing, swing it in here. The next other thing that happened is they jumped down to a G flat, which is technically, technically, and we'll show it over here, it's easier to show it here, G flat is in the minor scale. And everything else that we've been working on has been in the major scale. Now that G flat is perfectly legitimate to put in there, but it's the point is it, it's being borrowed from the blah, blah, blah. So to make it sound jazzy and to be true to the way that the singer sings it. Computers on our center stage. Oh, what's the sex of future tech? Hear it? So we're annotating that saying there's a bend note in there and we encoded it. But here we just said swing it and then we didn't encode it. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a recap of Composing for Change, Part 4, Continuing. In today's episode, we entered with the reflection that transcribing from vocal recordings, especially not ours, but others, uh, is inching us ever closer to a live performance. And secondly, we have been upping our game about transcribing techniques. This is the second uh, part where we're transcribing. We're already in like the second or third stream for this part, whatever. Um, so we did continue working with our own composition called Darkness One. And then we kind of just hunkered down and worked with two, not one, but two transcriptions. This one that we played the, only the first stanza for you the last time. And one of the nice things about this is that we, we, we confirmed what the singer told us, that it was in uh, A flat minor, which it is. It's all, which is these notes, and this is the major scale. And then as we, uh, but then today, when we've gone into the second song, um, we got this extra note down here. We got this G flat, which is, uh, which is, which is, see if we look way up here again. G flat is coming from the minor scale. Everything else, we got the E flat, that's there it is, right up there, E flat, F, there's the F, G flat, which is the borrowed note, G, where did we get a G? Yeah, G's allowed, A flat, that's allowed, B flat's allowed, and C's allowed. So everything's there from the major scale, and we snuck in one note. One one little extra note in the G flat, and it sounds great. So we're not correcting that. We're not. It doesn't need a pitch correction. It just needs an annotation that hey, and and here you see it right here as we were playing it for you. Computer, look down here. On our center stage, oh, what's the sex of future tech? Oh well, the yeah. So the A flat, uh, or the I mean, sorry, the G flat. The G flat, which is a whatever it is, F sharp. It's an F sharp. Computers on our there it is right there. Oh, what's the sex of future Here it is right there. Tech. See right there. You can see that big red line right there, F sharp three. That's that's that note right right there that we just heard. So anyway, part of upping our game was learning how to work with this real tune plugin, which you can only see the notes when Computers you actually play it. Us. I wish there was a way to run it. Well, I guess there is. I could stop playing it. Computers. No, how do I do that? Computer. No, I can't fool it. 
I would have to turn the volume down. I would have to turn the volume down. So anyway, that's part of what we mean by upping our game. We also are wondering, uh, one of our chat said, hey, there's ways to do this. Uh, we were thinking of something called a quantizer. So what we're doing now is using our ears and eyes to listen to the vocalist and then put it on paper. And it, it wasn't as hard as we thought because they are singing true to the scale and there's only seven notes plus one periodically. We can handle that. So once we got the hang of it, we were able to do this. And not only that, we were able to add all of the the lyrics, but what we have done in preparation to meet with them, because we just sent all this to them, we sent them the vocalization recordings, we sent them the scores, and when then we ran off an MP3 of each of these, so they can listen to how it sounds on the piano, you know, like. And, oh my God, such a difference between hearing the straight piano versus the swing vocalized style, which really sells it, you know. So I anticipate we anticipate going through this on certain stanzas and lines. So we added these labels. This is not how they first gave us the lyric. We we labeled it so that we can go to the score and say, okay, what what's the first feedback? Stanza one, line two, okay, of, you know, Terminal Man. So that'd be here, line one. He knows how to jam your circuits. Okay, moving on. This is our own work. And one of the things we noticed in working with transcription is it gets... You know what they say the earworm you, you start hearing that that theme song over and over again so we just periodically have to go back to our own work and um, which sounds completely different it's kind of like r clearing your palate between different kind of uh, so this is where we've gotten to on uh, composing for change we're going to play it for you and what all we'll mention is that we added a bunch of new stuff. We added a reinforcement line, an implied cadence line, and then we added shimmer lines, and we updated our annotations, and here we go. like about this we like that fast part and um, it reminds us of listening to good pianists you know and we always wondered how do they make all those notes in a row and now we're kind of getting the hang of it well you make all the notes in a row from the scale but the scale changes is it the minor scale is it the major scale is it the full mode and is it going up or is it going down and that's what we did here we 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 isolated you know here i love how this part goes up and then it goes down In fact, if we were to kind of uh, just solo the second and the f second and the fifth line, we can hopefully hear how they play against each other. So, like. Hear the different scale? So it's not overwhelming the piece, it's adding something. And then the main uh, driver where we're going with this piece is, uh, uh, well, the core of it, the core melody, so to speak, is um, the first part.
which is just going up and down our scale. The trick is, and there is a trick, we're not using a traditional seven note scale. We're using that new one that we figured out in this series. And then of course, when you put, you put just those together, the third, no, the second one, and the sixth. Okay, we want the second one, one, two, and the fifth one. And then we add in, as we did, put the third part in, which is our reinforcement, which was picked out from an intersection of things. Yeah, these, this is picked out from where this passing note hits. And then, once we did that, we got a, a, what we called an implied cadence, which is this line. And then we said, oh, we want something a little deeper on the bottom, which is the, the shimmer lines, which at the moment is kind of an um pa pa So we like how it builds intricately. Now what we need to do, that has, so it has nice depth. What we need to do is work on the length uh, and vary it somewhat. At the moment, we're just repeating it and then, you know, tacked an ending on it. Anyway. Our ideas for next time are to continue working with the transcription. And obviously we're going to have a, a review meeting and then, uh, which we should put in there. We should put that in there. Review transcription with client. And then keep working with darkness one. For example, develop the middle versus repeat. Shout outs to Mr. Spatz and and Aroused and Blackstrish who came by. We appreciate you. Do take care. Do come back and do keep on streaming.